Hello everyone. Continuing with the color pencil series, I am doing this landscape in color pencils this time in a form of step by step tutorial. Stay with me till the end and let's see how it can be done. As usual for the color pencil work, I am using this cartridge paper and these color pencils which are simple color pencils, not very expensive and of course you are free to use any brand of your choice. I am beginning with the outline of the landscape with a 2D graphite pencil and I have included the reference image here for reference. While doing the outline at this stage itself, we will have to take utmost care about the perspective. For this we will have to take care of the ground line, the horizon line and the vanishing points. These are a few technical things which we will not discuss right now but you can just take care of the angles of the lines that you see in the reference image especially of the building and of course the proportions of each and every element will also have to be taken care of with respect to each other and now i'm working on the sky with a simple light blue pencil and with simple oblique strokes i am just applying the color on the sky area The sunlight is from the right hand side and I am applying therefore a few strokes of the yellow color also. This is a lemon yellow color. Now I am going to work in layers and so in this initial stage I am in this initial layer I am going to simply block out the colors of the objects as seen in the reference image with simple oblique strokes. Also the initial layer will be in light strokes, light colors with not too much pressure on the hand and I'm using yellow ochre for the building, greens for the trees, grays for the roads and browns for the ground area and so on. And now we'll be adding more elaborate colors for the next layer, adding more and more details each time as we go along, keeping in mind the direction of the light source and therefore the direction of the shadows. And we will be adding more and more layers with more and more details until we get the satisfactory results. So the details will not be seen in the initial stage and so we'll have to be patient until we get all the details towards the end almost wherever the shadows can be seen i'm initially working with dark browns and later i may use black too in order to bring out more contrast The arches have a nice bright yellow and so I am using the chrome yellow to depict that. And now I am using black to go over the shadows once again in order to bring out the contrast like I said before and that will add some depth to the work. And so in this fashion let us proceed further. And now I'm using simple small strokes to indicate the shrubs and bushes in front of the building. And of course I'll be using different shades of greens from lights to dark in order to indicate the shrubs and bushes and even the trees.
now adding contrasts to your artworks any artworks for that matter contrast between the lights and darks these matter a lot because those give out the depth of the artwork and the artwork starts looking more appealing and which is what i'm trying to do exactly in this work too whereas where you can see the shadows are made as dark as possible and even the space between the two buildings if that can be made more contrasting uh, compared to the buildings themselves then the depth of the landscape will be brought out even more which is what i'm going to do initially although you can see browns added there later on i'll be adding more and more darks in that area so that that can have a nice depth to the art artwork Please do excuse the video quality at this stage due to change in the ambient light. Now for the trees and its foliages, I am using, like I said before, I am using various shades of greens ranging from lights to darks, keeping an eye on the reference image to see where the lights are and where the darks are, and using very simple, small strokes, very tiny strokes at places. I am applying these uh, colors as per the light source. At places, I am using hatchings and cross hatchings to cover the foliage area. Just like in the vid previous videos here too, I am not going to do any blending, just because I want to maintain the sketchy look of this artwork. And so I am not going to use any blending tools like art stamps or tissue paper or earbuds or anything. I am going to keep the strokes of the pencils intact as they are, visible as they are, just so that it maintains the sketchy look. And so keeping all of these things in mind, let us proceed to complete our landscape work.
And that's it. Our landscape work is done. How did you like it? If you did, do give it a like, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get notifications for future videos. Share it with your friends and do leave your comments too. Also click on the end screens displayed above so that you get to watch other videos. See you in the next video.